Many years ago, I started specialising in the care of terminally ill patients. And during these years, I've become increasingly aware that although we can't cure our patients, there's an awful lot we, in the medical and nursing professions, can do to improve the quality of the time that remains to them. It's often said that most people fear dying more than they fear death. For many patients with advanced cancer, this is particularly so. Symptom control in dying patients depends upon understanding the patient's needs and by responding to those needs, by whatever means are thought suitable, to enable the patient to cope. This situation presents a great challenge to the doctor and to the nurse. Each symptom is a reflection of some aspect of the patient's suffering and may indicate underlying fear and anxiety. For example, when a patient with a bronchogenic carcinoma says that he's breathless, that's only what we might expect, and we may be tempted to ignore it. But the patient may actually be asking if he will suffocate. It's reading these hidden agendas, the patient's perception, that can make all the difference. It's said that as many as 50% of the problems of the dying are not mentioned by the patient because he thinks they would be regarded as trivial by the doctor or nurse. We have to train ourselves to ask about everything which affects the patient's comfort and morale, no matter how trivial it may seem and whether it interests us or not. It can't be emphasized strongly enough that dying patients fear the unknown more than the known. The more we explain to them what is happening and how we can help, the better it will be for them. I think the patients like to be in uh, kept informed about what's happening to them um, so that they know what's in the future and that helps to alleviate uh, inner fears that they have which are usually really irrational um, and it also forms a bond of trust between the staff and the patient and they trust uh, whatever you do for them. They usually ask if they want to know and as long as you tell them the truth what they ask um, they'll accept. 